Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a follow-up to my 18 watt charger test with now the 5 watt charger. This was highly requested from a lot of you, so here you guys go. Um, we also are getting very close to 250 subscribers. We're actually very, very close, way quicker than I thought. So stay tuned for that giveaway where we're giving away an iPhone 7 Plus. I'm curious how this will do. I hope it doesn't take too much of my time, but either way, it's all for you guys, so let's get into it. I hope you all enjoyed that. Here are the results in my full analysis. I will be comparing these results to the video of my 18 watt charger test, which you can see in the top right corner. Now for the 5 watt charger, from the start of the test to 80 minutes, we see a 9 to 10% jump in battery percentage every 10 minutes. Then at 80% battery, we see a drop in that rate. Now I turned off the optimized battery charging in the settings for both videos. However, we saw this pattern in percentage drop for both the 18 watt charger and the 5 watt charger when they hit the 80% mark. At that point, they dropped to about 6% every 10 minutes in both videos. At 95%, we see a drop in the 5 watt charger to 1 to 2% every 10 minutes. Again, this is also a pattern we see in the 18 watt charger. The 5 watt charger fully charges the phone at 142 minutes in comparison to the 104 minutes in the 18 watt charger. But that doesn't tell the entire story. The biggest difference in percentage gain between the 5 and 18 watt charger came at 50 minutes in where the 18 watt charger was at 79% and the 5 watt charger was at 42%. Notice that the 18 watt charger was at that 80% point. At this point, the 18 watt charger can't extend its lead anymore because Apple decreases the rate of charging and it does this for both of them similarly. That is very likely to save the battery percentage health 
of the device. The 18 watt, nevertheless, I believe that the 18 watt charger is worth the extra money, but not if you're going to try to charge it at 100%. It is best for the people who want to charge anywhere less than 60 minutes, where you're going to see that 79%, where you're going to see that drop in percentage. If you want to charge yours for just an hour and get a lot of battery life in a short time, then the 18 watt charger is great. And in the description, I'll be giving some options, so some cheaper ones as well as the official Apple one if you want to see it, but if you don't, that's all good as well. The 5 watt charger is still fine, it didn't take as long to charge as I thought it might, and, and both will suffice for this model. So thank you so much for watching, and peace.